still in disbelief. Um, I still replay brunch in my head um, because there there were no signs. Yeah, friends are still just stunned after a Charlotte woman was lost so suddenly to COVID-19. They spoke to our reporter Mark Becker about how quickly this happened and what they want everyone to know about their friend. Mark. Yes, yeah, Scott, if you still wonder if coronavirus is a threat, particularly to young people, well, listen to the two women we spoke with today, who just two weeks ago had a friend who was alive and vibrant and suddenly is gone. She, you felt her energy when she came into the room. Lindsay Ratliff Owens tried to capture all of the spirit and all of the life that was her friend, the one she'd had brunch with just two weeks ago. Kia Hawkins had just turned 32 last Tuesday, and Ebony Frazier called to wish her happy birthday. And I asked her how she was doing, and she said that she had been feeling sick since Sunday. On Thursday, Kia posted on social media she had COVID. On Saturday, a friend sent Ebony a message to tell her Kia was gone. And I was just like confused, like what do you mean she passed? Like I just talked to her. I'm still in disbelief. Um, I still replay brunch in my head um, because there, there were no signs. This afternoon, Kia's friends went back to the place where she'd been married to recapture the memories of good times. And they shared a podcast from May where Kia seemed to sense how fragile life can be. We live this life and we think that we have time and we do not, you know. Two months later, her life was taken by a virus that we cannot see, but one her friends now say we cannot overlook. It is real. I, I lost one of the best people in my life and it's going to take me forever to get over this and just take it serious because it really can happen to any of us like um i feel like nobody is exempt nobody and kia hawkins friends will be having a candlelight vigil for her tomorrow night at eight o'clock at vance high school the high school where she graduated just 14 years ago scott now just so quickly so shocking to everyone thank you mark